Hey guys, it's Lauren. So welcome to my home office, or my home really. Um, I wanted to start this blog with a vlog, which will be my first vlog in the new year and my first vlog on my blog, which is Life in the Wild. So welcome to Life in the Wild. I had writ written a blog post about it earlier, but basically just wanted to start this blog because so many people had asked me where to get things or where to get things cheaper or what the best place in town is for something or where to get fabric to cover your table for a party or how to do printables or how to get the best lighting when you're taking pictures for your kids or lots of different things. And so I just decided that I should have a lifestyle blog. And part of my resolution for this year is to be intentional and to be purposeful. And so I wanted to kind of take that knowledge that I did have and find a way to get it out to you guys, um, whether you're just thinking those questions in your head or whether it's something that really does interest you. I don't know. I would love the feedback from you guys after I start doing a couple of videos and a couple of posts to see what I should be really focusing on. So anyway, um, I think a really good place to start when we're talking about being intentional and being purposeful um, in resolutions. On. It's called Tone It Up. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with it, but I love it. So it's two girls, their best friends. It's Karina and Katrina, which, I mean, they couldn't have written that any better. Um, but they're absolutely adorable. One of them's like super go with the flow. Maybe I took a shower today. Maybe I didn't. Dark hair, surfery girl. The other one's kind of like more put together, getting married, like kind of sweeter, but their attitude about life is pretty much the same, and they're just so funny and, and so sweet. Um, and I know that more now because they have a um, reality show on Bravo called Toned Up. So you guys should tune in. They're really great. Um, but I think the biggest thing that's keeping me going on Toned Up, which first, is, first of all is it's two separate um, kind of plans. So it's a nutritional plan that you buy which really tells you like how to lower the glycemic index of some foods by adding fiber or protein, um, you know, how to make a complete protein when you're eating, like you should add nuts to legumes, or I might be saying that wrong, but um, that kind of thing. And I, I literally take a picture of my cell phone and kind of check in and make sure that I'm, I'm, I'm doing it right. Um, but anyways, it's a nutritional plan with tons of recipes, more recipes than you could probably ever imagine. It's for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, dips, um, ice cream pops, like tons of stuff. They even have something called a bombshell spell or a meta D, which is like your um, apple cider vinegar kind of shot every morning to kind of make your pH balance more balanced in your body, which makes a difference big time. So um, anyway, so that's the plan. And then the other side of it, which is the freer side of it, is the workout. So they've got a DVD. They have two DVDs called Beach Babe. Um, and it's kind of like long-term workouts. I think it's like nine workouts in one and six workouts in the other one. Um, and that's really great, too. I just ordered that, so we'll see how that goes. But there's also, they have tons of YouTube videos out there. And they started on YouTube. Um, so if you haven't heard of them, I think their YouTube is Tone It Up or Karina Katrina, all in one. Their Instagram is Karina Katrina and Tone It Up. And now Toned Up, hashtag, hashtag Toned Up. Um, so follow them, follow their workouts if you want to get into something. Um, but the best part of it to me, and I think to them too, is that there's this huge community behind Tone Up. So like for me, I tried to get my two friends to do it, and they just didn't feel like committing to it. They didn't feel like really being accountable for the time. And they, or they had another um, workout that they wanted to try and Weight Watchers and stuff like that. So I was like, oh, man, I'm at this all alone. Like, I hope I can keep this up. Um, for right now, they've got something from January 1st till February 14th called the Love Your Body Challenge. And um, it's basically like 100 miles to Valentine's Day, and there's lots of different ways to get 100 miles. Um, and, you know, it's basically a booty call every morning, which is not what it sounds like. It's not like getting booty. It's like working your booty. So it's some kind of cardio every morning. They encourage you to do that. And then there's a workout like strength routine every afternoon or evening. Um, and then the nutritional plan. And it's just basically sticking to that and seeing the results of it. And there have been some amazing results. They do kind of like a motivational Monday every Monday 
showing you people who have lost like 40 pounds, 60 pounds, or people that have lost like 10 pounds, but their body looks shockingly different. Like they're toned up really, <laughs> instead of being like skinny fat, they're toned up. So I was super happy about starting and I, I've done really well. I think on this channel or on this blog, I'm going to start posting, um, kind of like my results and things like that. Um, because you don't want to do anything if there's no results, but I am getting results so far. So I promise I'll start posting those. Um, but anyway, I wanted to share with you guys, um, like you guys all know, I'm a single mom on the go. I, I work full time. Um, like I can only do these videos when I'm at home, either with a sick baby or, uh, at night, like it is right now, like I'm hanging on to this daylight as much as I can. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, so just wanted to show you guys like how I get in some of the nutrients and some of the yummy foods that you're supposed to eat. So the plan asks for you to eat five meals a day. Yeah, five meals a day, which a lot of nutritional plans tell you that you need to eat five small meals a day. Um, and it kind of breaks down like what you should be eating each day. Um, but I usually have their protein, perfect fit protein pancake in the morning, which I saw this on Bethany Frankel's website years ago, maybe two or three years ago, and but I think the Tone Up Girls have marketed it a lot better, but she kind of had the idea. I don't know, but anyway, and I, I had tried it then. I don't think she added as much protein, but anyway. So basically what it is, is instead of adding flour to your pancake mix, it's protein powder. Um, and just so you know, any protein powder can be added like a flour to bake. I also follow, and I'll put a link to her website here, but... Um, Karina Nielsen, Live Fit, and she's actually training for, like, a bodybuilding competition or a fitness competition right now, but she has really, really good, like, kind of whole food, like, cupcake recipes and donut recipes and wrap recipes and things like that that have helped her to stay fit, and um, she kind of did the work for you, so you can follow her recipes, and like I said, Tone It Up has tons of recipes, too, and I'll put the Tone It Up link up here as well, um, so you can go and be a member, and yeah, you'll love it, I promise. Um, but anyway, so anyway, so you can use protein to bake. So I use this one. I don't know if you can see. It's called um, Raw Fit. Can you see it? Yeah, Raw Fit. And you can get this at Whole Foods. Um, and it's not really my favorite tasting one. It doesn't taste bad, but it's not really my favorite in the taste. I like Herbalife for the taste. It's got a little bit more sugar in it, but it's got some good nutrients too. And I really do love Perfect Fit, um, which is from the Tone It Up Girls. You can get it at perfectfit.com, or you can get it, if you go to the Tone It Up website, you, it'll lead you to Perfect Fit. Um, they have vanilla and chocolate, and I have the chocolate on the way, because I ran out of the vanilla. And that one is really good, and it is good in baking, so I would suggest that one. Um, but this one is fine, and it's the most fit one I could find that was plant-based, and that was important to me, because, call me crazy, I don't really love dairy. I don't really feel like we're the only species who drinks another species' milk after infancy, so I just think it's weird. My kid doesn't drink dairy. He drinks almond milk and coconut milk, so it's just something that I'm weird about. <laughs> I know there's plenty of dairy in everything that we eat and that we love, but I'm weird about it. So um, I like this is plant-based. The perfect fit is plant-based, too. I think it's brown rice and plant-based. Um, but anyway, it's great. I don't want to eat whole or whey protein. I don't want to eat soy protein. I, I'd rather this. Um, also, so anyway, you put that, a little bit of vanilla, I add a flaxseed to mine, like this morning I had a, I added cocoa powder flaxseed, and a little bit of like mini chocolate chips with raspberries, and I had like a cocoa raspberry perfect fit waffle, it was so good, delish, and I like making it in the waffle maker, if you have a waffle maker, or like a donut maker, because it puts kind of a crust on the outside, like if you're making it in just like a normal non-stick pan, sometimes a little eggier texture, which it's mostly eggs, so, I mean that makes sense, and you do get used to that, but I like it to be a little bit more flowery. Also, if you add the cocoa powder, that makes it taste a little flowery. So I like that. Um, but anyway, so there's that. And then other than that, for breakfast, I usually do like a scramble, like some kind of like, you know, spinach, tomato, mushroom. I use fake cheese. I'll put a link to what I use, but it's like veggie cheese. I really like it. Like I made nachos with it the other day with blue corn chips. It's really good and like stretchy and cheesy and yummy, but it's soy. Oh, 
good for you. There's so many things in grapefruit. And they actually recommend this as like a second meal, like a snack in the mornings um, for like the five day really tone it up plan, like five day slim down is what it's called. Um, but grapefruit's just so great for you. It's got grapefruit is so great for you. <laughs> but it's got um, nyarangin. I'm going to mess it up. I'll put the word here. I probably got it wrong. But anyway, it's a DNA um, repair. Um, so basically, like, what happens when you have cancer is that your DNA or your cells are abnormal, and they break, and they're degenerate, and they're weird, and we do nothing really to cause that, but um, it's not good. And so to eat something every day that repairs DNA um, is pretty awesome. And so there's there's that naringen or naringen, mm, I'll figure it out, I'll put it here. But um, that repairs DNA. So that's pretty cool. There's lots of antioxidants in here. There's lycopene, um, which you can also get in watermelon and tomatoes. But um, that's really good for you. I'll put the what's good for you right here. Um, but that's good for you. And then also, it just has like vitamin A, lots of vitamin C, which is good for your immune system, um, which is good for me because my kid is a daycare kid. And he... He can get a lot of, I went like that because that's where the daycare is, but um, he, he picks up a lot of things, so it's good for us to, to take care of our immune system, and just in case, if you're going to start eating grapefruits every day, you can get a grapefruit spoon that kind of has like the knifey, like teeth at the end that really helps to eat grapefruit, or if you're, if you need something quicker on the go, Dole Selects has like a cup of grapefruit, I think it's a half grapefruit segment, in water. So they're not getting any kind of syrup or added sugar. Um, so what I do is I usually eat the segments out and throw the water away. Um, and that's really good, too, and easy. Um, what else? Oh, also, anything else whole, like whole berries are going to be perfection um, for anything that they're doing. Always in moderation. Like, obviously, they have their own sugar. But, I mean, it's way better to eat strawberries and blackberries and blueberries than it is to eat, you know, yucky processed sugary jelly things so I always pick these up these are from Kroger but I guess you can get these anywhere and it's just like kind of the pre-cut pre-buried thing and it doesn't have any um uh what am I looking for preservatives in it but these go pretty fast in my house they're pre-cut they're pre-washed so we just kind of eat them we put them on yogurt I give them to Halston like on the side of his chicken nuggets for dinners um we put it in lots of things. We make our own ice cream, which I'm going to do a blog about that. And we put these sometimes in our ice cream. They're so good. So whole fruits. Um, snacky things that I'm really loving right now and that Halston loves too, which is just, just an added bonus, are, these are one of my favorites. They are called Kale Crunch, as you can see. You um, can't really see. I'm trying to get you to see, like, what they look like. Or I'll just take them right out. And these have been kind of thrown around my car, so they're a little broken up. But they're usually pretty small. This brand is Alive and Radiant Foods, and I got this at Whole Foods. And my favorite thing about this, though, is that it's cheesy chipotle, which is, like, really good. So if you can see the chips, I don't know if you can see. Um, I like to put them on salads, too, kind of like a crouton, but they're very crunchy and gummy. And, like, savory. Like, I love these. I eat them, like, all the time. <laughs> well, these are great. These also, I mean, there's, like, no preservatives, no artificial ingredients in here. There's, like, mm, kale, bell peppers, cashews, sesame seeds, lemon juice, chia seeds, which are also really good for you. They provide, like, a lot of protein fiber um, with no sugar. Chipotle, paprika, palm sugar, all ingredients that my body loves, so I'm happy with that. Also, so in kale, if you guys are not used to kale, this is a good way to like get used to it. It's more like a chip. But I went to a restaurant recently that in their kale salad, they take their kale, which is like super leafy and green. Now, there's lots of different kinds of like dinosaur kale, curly kale, or curly kale, spiral kale. I don't know. Anyway, they take it and they like marinate it in like a citrus marinade then they put it on the plate so it's kind of like ceviche like when you cook it in citrus it gets a little cooked it's kind of like that so it's softer so if you want to make like a kale salad and you're not you're new to kale i would say um the best thing to do is is first to kind of like marinate it for a while 
and then eat it. But I love to throw in like dried cherries or dried cranberries or almonds, chicken. Shrimp is great with like a lime avocado vinaigrette. Like I love kale. It's so good for you. And in one cup of kale, there's 33 calories, which is amazing. And it really does fill you up because it's nutrient dense. So that's good. It's got 9% of your daily calcium, which is hard to find. It's like close to milk or more than milk, I think. Tons of antioxidants, vitamin A, riboflavin, niacin. It's got tons of stuff in it. Um, so kale's great. The other little chippy, snacky thing that I like that's like an alternative to chips or crackers is the Trader Joe's Inner Peas. I don't know if you guys have Trader Joe's or what, but they're Somebody has like these snap peas. They're baked. They're not fried. They're with canola oil. And they're so good. I'll crunch one so you guys can see. But I sometimes crunch these up and put them on salads too. But they just basically look like a little snap pea, but cracker. And you just oh, <laughs> and you just they're just crunchy like like a chip, like um like a Lay's potato chip. Like you can taste the oil. It's just canola oil and sea salt. It's really good. I'm just gonna make him eat. These are so good. Um. Anyway, yeah, these are like 130 calories in one ounce, mostly because of the oil. But way better than like the processed yucky stuff if you need like a chip craving. They're really crunchy. Okay, the other thing I love, love snack wise is Greek yogurt. I love it. Like, there's no fat in it. There's like very low sugar. And even in these, like this is the Chobani Greek yogurt. It is 100 calories. Oh, can you see that? This is the pineapple one, which is actually one of my very favorites. But it's 100 calories. There's 5 grams of sugar in here. So there's like 15 carbs if there's 5 grams of sugar. And you're getting the fruit. Like sometimes I just eat it with no fruit, with just like some real fruit on it, which is even less and still so good. But sometimes I just want the extra fruit. I just want to get the pre-mixed ones. 100 calories, 5 grams of fiber, which is good. I mean, it's hard to get fiber in your daily diet, especially if you're not eating, like, tons of vegetables or tons of apples or potatoes. Or, like, it's really hard. So th this has 5 grams of fiber in one um, helping is good. Um, so anyway, yeah, zero fat, 15 carbs, only 6 sugars, 12 grams of protein. That's freaking awesome. That's, like, amazing. So this is a good, like, second snack for the day. Other snacks that I love are bars. They're so easy. You can put them in your purse. You can put them in your computer bag. You can put them in your diaper bag, whatever you want. I love the Luna Bar. And this is my very favorite one. I used to be obsessed with the lemon one. But maybe that's more summery. And I also like watch I Club Macadamia. But this one is the peppermint. Can you see here? chocolate peppermint stick it is so good and these bars are pretty good for you they're made by the people who make cliff builder bars um and i like these they're not i mean they've got calcium vitamin d iron folic acid they're really good for you they're going to give you like a pick me up during the day and i love the peppermint flavor with chocolate it's so good um so anyway luna bars the other bar that I'm like in love with is the kind bars because they are very kind to your body because they really don't have anything else in them except for like nuts and honey or agave and like dark, dark chocolate if they have chocolate. And this one is, what kind of is this one? Maple glazed pecan and sea salt. Oh my God. Look at that one. It's just literally like nuts bound together by like honey. And it's so good. Like, you just get it all in one bite. My favorite one right now is it's dark chocolate pecan cinnamon. It tastes like the best cookie or cake that I've ever had. It's like pecan chocolate cinnamon. Like, I love it. And um, I just discovered it. It's so good. So these are great. These are really good for your body because they don't have any extras in them. They're all whole food. Um, speaking of whole foods, if you love wraps like I love wraps, like, it's so good in a wrap to get like your protein, your vegetables. I, I do shredded carrots and um, sometimes kale and spinach and um, lettuce and that kind of stuff. And the thing is, the only reason why I don't eat wraps is because I don't want all the flour and the carbs. Don't worry. Ezekiel, Ezekiel 49 has these sprouted grain tortillas. 
and I'll take one out because these are thawed. You need to keep them either in the refrigerator or in the freezer is probably best. And that sounds annoying, but it's really not. I use these all the time. I'm just opening these right now. Um, and so the consistency is different. It's, it literally is sprouted grains put together. So if you can see, you can see like all of the seeds and sprouted grains. You can see through it maybe. I don't know. And they're pretty big. Like they're bigger than my face. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's quite a wrap. Like it'll hold you over. Um, but yeah, there's no flour in these. So they're very live. That's why I have to keep them um, refrigerated or you have to keep them frozen. They also have bread, raisin bread, all that kind of stuff. But I love their whole um, their whole kind of MO behind their brand is it says, where does it say it? Uh, it says, take also, okay, yeah, it's from Ezekiel 4.9 in the Bible. And it says, Take also unto thee wheat and barley and beans and lentils and millet and spelt and put them in one vessel and make bread of it. Ezekiel 4.9. So they're basically saying, which I'm sure you can infer, that this is like what God intended. Was like take all these, you know, grains of the earth and eat it. Don't process it and don't turn it into, you know, gluten and don't turn it into crazy corn syrup and stuff like that. And I don't want to get on my God high horse um, maybe another time. But I think that's kind of cool is that they're basically saying, like, it makes sense to eat sprouted grains. Um, anyway, I'm going to eat it right now. It's so good. I love these. Like, I really love these. And they're not as, like, bendy as a tortilla. So sometimes I'll put some hummus on each side that kind of, like, will hold it together like glue. I don't really like hummus, so it works out either way. Anyway, so these are freaking awesome. I got these at Kroger, like, or Randall's or Tom Thumb or Safeway or whatever. You can find them like in the organic section, in the freezer section. They're not going to be able to buy the bread. Um, oh, Ezekiel also makes now um, English muffins, which I love because I can do like an egg white patty with the turkey sausage and an Ezekiel English muffin, and like that's my breakfast. So freaking good. Anyway, so yum to the chum. Also, the last thing I want to talk about is being hydrated, which I'm horrible at. I hate water. I've hated it for years. Hate it. But I really like the taste of Smart Water. I don't know. It's electrolyte enhanced, which is what's in Gatorade. Um, I feel like it's getting really dark right now. I'm going to like crank up the lights. But anyway, ho, hey. Um, it's electrolyte enhanced, which is in Gatorade. There we go. Um, so it's going to give you energy. Like electrolytes give you energy. This just gives it to you without the sugar. So it's better for you. I'm like, now this is too much light. But anyway, hello. Gives it to you without the sugar. Um, so that's why I like this. And honestly, I just don't like the taste of water. So I, I just happen to like the taste of smart water. It just tastes good to me. Dasani tastes good to me too. And I like that it has the added electrolytes. If you don't like water either, <laughs> I'm sorry. I look like ghost or something. Let me, let me work this out here. Whoa. Anyway, if you don't like water either, I think one of my favorite, like, more natural, um, what do you call it, additions to water is um, Hanson's, like, the people who make the sodas that are, like, not non-aspartame sugary, they're, like, natural sugar. They make, like, a powder that you can put in your water. I just feel really weird. Okay. Anyway, they make a powder that you can put in your water. And I've been using the strawberry lemonade one, and it's only four grams of sugar. It's really good. And it's, like, no artificial, like, no aspartame, no, not even, I think it's sweetened with stevia. And, um, yes, it is. It is. It's very good. So I would use that if you're looking for kind of, like, a sweetener. I'm just going to keep on eating this because it looks so good. Um, but I would use that if you're looking for, like, a flavor, water flavor. But, like, for my body and my makeup, I'm supposed to drink 70 ounces of water a day. Okay? That's, like, no. I was, like, four of these or five. So, it's hard for me. So, the water bottle helps me because I know how much I'm drinking. And I'm, like, mm, I've only drank one. That was, like, not a lot of water. So, anyway, try to increase your water. It will increase your energy, and it will help you to digest everything better. Also, what did I say? Oh, for protein shakes, I have some, um, I have some handy dandy helpful hints for protein shakes. 
like I said, you can, you can use any kind of protein. This is like the raw protein. Um, but I do all my protein shakes. Like I love to have ice in it. So I do them in, um, in the Ninja, which is awesome. I'm going to do a whole thing on the Ninja. We make real ice cream in the Ninja. Like it really is good. Like I could really do like an infomercial on it. Like it's so good. So make it all in the Ninja or the blender bottle, which I will also put a link here for the blender bottle because it's great. I know they're around a lot more now, but I mean, sometimes they don't work. I just do almond milk, per, uh, protein powder, a uh, scoop of like natural peanut butter and like a half banana. And it blends all that. It blends the peanut butter. It blends the half banana. Like it's amazing. So I would recommend that too. Um, anyway, thanks guys for listening to me for the last 25 minutes. That was kind of a long vlog. Um, but yeah, if you have anything that you love in kind of your nutritional daily routine, let me know. Comment below. Definitely subscribe to the blog and, and the vlog if you want to keep seeing different videos from me. Um, I'm going to be posting more videos about my divorce, which I'm, I'm literally working on it right now. I know people are like, can you please post that? Like, I will post it. I, I'm working on it. I'm, like, editing it. Um, and I'm going to be posting more about Halston and Terrible Twos and um, writing and the Bible and my – the social stuff, like how to juggle things and how to stay active in the community and things like that. Um, so I'm going to be doing all those kinds of things, and I would love you guys' feedback. If you want me to do a video on anything or write a blog post about anything or if you have any ideas, please let me know. Um, like I said, please comment below. Um, send me an email. Subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. <sighs>